The Biopsy Playhouse has been rated TVPG. Parental guidance suggested. Welcome to Globico Satellite Worldwide. For programming, please press enter on your remote. Hello, I'm Ari Fleischer, former press secretary to President George W. Bush. People often ask me, hey Ari, how come you look so convincing when you're up there lying your ass off for W? Were you on drugs? Did you have a knife at your back? No. The answer is denial. What's that you ask? Why, it's that simple spray that makes everything okay. From the most blatant power grab since, well, since any time. Just two sprays a day and everything is okay. Day is night, black is white, and that's all right. Just look at the results. At no time did the president or any member of his cabinet rule out a peaceful solution. We have no designs on appropriating all or part of Iraqi oil production. The natural resources of Iraq Ari, belong Ari, to Iraq. Where are all the no weapons else. of mass destruction? No further questions. Ari, where is Osama? Sorry. Where's he saying? What a hoot, huh? And why stop there? Once you realize the power of denial, you'll want to share it with your friends. That's why it comes in this. Mass dosage formula. Watch how easy it is to work. Isn't it great? It's just that easy. Get some today and go along to get along. It's Yes, Ari is in that denial. You know what President W says? Uh, it's not just that river down there in Egypt anymore. Yes, they're all talking about that denial. New from Globico Pharmaceuticals. <laughs> hey, new fish. I got a TV. <laughs> right here in the joint, my own TV. It's got those guys on it. They're funny. <laughs> Just give me 10 minutes, gentlemen. I shall be done with my client in about 10 minutes. So, um, if I need anything, I shall give you a call. Hey, Sid! It's me, Irving! Irving, what the hell are you dressed up as? I, I just got my law degree in 24 hours. Can you believe it? From Matchbox University. I'm a real professional! Hey, Sid, don't worry. I got everything covered. I'm gonna get you out of jail. See, I got ready. I already got you off the charges of 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 grand larceny and embezzlement and laundry, money laundering. So this is a little problem, though. They they want you for murder. Murder? Well, I I had to tell them about you know the trip you gave to Bruno. You know, remember when you sent him to Florida on that trip and he never came back? Remember? Murder, the... Irvin. You <laughs> got me. I murder. 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 murder! <laughs> Psychotherapy moment. Well, my dad, he, he used to beat me when I was young. He, he used to throw me against the wall in a fit of anger. So it was rough with you. Well, usually it was like that after we was out drinking. Rough isn't always bad. It is when he used to take his belt to me. Did he ever tie you up with it? No, he, he used to whip me with it. Oh, that's too bad. Belts make such good restraints. Very difficult to get out of. Excuse me? Sorry, nothing. Do go on. I remember this one time, uh, my dad slammed me against the bathroom door. His, his breathing was so hot and, and heavy, and, and, and his chest just kept heaving up and down and up and down, and his breath smelled like booze. It must have been all those martinis he loved so much. Oh, poor 
really? Yes. Well, you know, now I think we're gonna do a little technique we psychiatrists refer to as reenactment. Oh, all right. I'll play your part. <sighs> What's this bleeding like this? Uh, uh, sort of. How about spatially? This far apart or closer together? Uh, uh, no, no, no. This is this is pretty good, doctor. Oh yes, it's my pleasure. But I think we need to try this in a more horizontal position. Better for the psychological purging. Oh. Blood flowing to all the right membranes. Um, uh, doctor, I'm really beginning to oh, wonder if. Trust me, I know what I'm doing, Willie. Willie, now what does that remind me of? Oh, yes, oh, it's great. Oh, oh that's, that's oh, it. Very good. Yes, oh, let it all out. Let it all out. Oh, Doctor, I, I've been to three psychiatrists and none of them have ever used this approach. Oh, yes, well, I'm experienced in many techniques. I really believe you need to connect with the patient, share an experience so that they'll release their... Uh, feelings? Yes, that's it. Now, I would like to use a technique found in an Indian medical guide called the Kama Sutra. Uh, but I thought that was for sexual purposes. Oh no, it has many, many, many uses. Now lie back. Uh, oh, well, uh, I, I guess my time is up. Well, Doctor, I, I really say you must have the most probing uh, approach to psychology. And, and, and I really admire how you you have this deep crevice for knowledge, and it's the whole, so to speak, Yes, speaker. yes, 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 well, we don't have to end now. I really think we're getting somewhere. Uh, no, no, I'm exhausted. I really need to go home. Bye now, Doctor. Damn, I was so close. Ah, my 5.30's here. My sexual deviant. I should get a lot out of him. Come in! This has been a psychotherapy moment, and now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Daddy? Oh. Um, why am I swimming in circles? Shut up, dear, or I'll have to nail your other foot to the floor. Federal agent Mike Rock is never one to back down. Okay, freeze! He's not afraid to tackle a situation head on. I ain't drop it, buddy! No way! You drop it! We ain't kidding around here, buddy! Whoa. You think I am? And if you're thinking of giving him a hard time... I'll take both you assholes out! What did you say? Think again! I said eat it, pig! Because federal agent Mike Rock... That was a little uncalled for. ...is a little sensitive. Mike? <laughs> Why you gotta be that way? Huh? Mike, not now! <laughs> I'm just doing my job. <laughs> what is this? Mike, can we talk about this later? <laughs> he called us pigs. I didn't call him any names, did I? Did I? No. No, you didn't. <laughs> so why do you have to make it about that? I have feelings, you know. Uh, you didn't mean it, did you? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, you got a problem? A little water might help. Any problem with that? No, no problem at all. Just a minute. He, he's so mean. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's There you go. Yeah, I'll have a tissue. There you go. <laughs> Rock always gets results. You're gonna give us the name of the guy, Frankie. No, I'm not. You are. Not. Are. Not. Are. Not. I'm not. He's just usually not much of a man about it. Are you gonna start talking? Dude, are you crying? <laughs> no. Oh, for Christ's sake! I'm sorry. What? What is it this time? This is being so difficult. Is this for real? That's nothing. Think quiet. Yeah. Don't go trying to get tough now. If you guys want the name that badly, it's Mike. Do you remember what we talked about with Dr. Faba? We talked about you not being so critical of me. No. We talked that 
You internalize everything. Don't you remember? Yes. What? I said yes. Do we need some time alone? Fine. He needs some time alone. Great. Is he okay? He's fine. Due to some botched paperwork in human resources, federal agent Mike Rock's job is secure for the foreseeable future. That means he can stick to what he does best. Catching the guys who think they're above the law. And inappropriate displays of childish ow. behavior. Ow, 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 ow. Why? Why? My hand, I scraped my hand. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Let me see the hand. No, you don't care. How could you say that? What's going on here? You, you just keep out of this. We'll have to DA cut you a deal. Oh, I'm not going to take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. You can't take anything, can you? How could you say that? Look, look at that. You blame me for everything. Coming this fall, traipsing through a field of pretty daisies, only on BSN. Hey, yeah, got good news. Yeah, what's that? I got you off the charge of murder for me. You got me off of murder? That's good. How the hell did you do that? Well, it was really kind of amazing. Like, Bruno just showed up out of nowhere, so oh. you're free. But there's only one problem. Yeah, what's that? Well, right. well, well they think you're a terrorist. And in order for you to be set free, you, they have to plant a microchip in your arm, and you have to become a Republican, and you have to pledge allegiance to his honor of the United States. Idiots to the left of me, idiots to the right. I'm surrounded by idiots! <laughs> well, I hate to tell you this, Sid, but you're the one in the straight jacket. <laughs> yeah, maybe there are no weapons of mass destruction. The whole thing was a fraud, fraud, fraud! The economy's not getting better, not better, not better. All he's done is give tax giveaways to his rich buddies, buddies, buddies. Maybe he really did steal the election. Election, election! I don't know what to believe anymore. Can't anyone help me? I think I can help you. Are you a doctor? <laughs> no, but I often play one on TV. Usually those Republican campaign ads, you know, the ones that warn against all Americans having national health care. But that's not important right now. You're being troubled by irrational doubts, aren't you? Here, try one of these. Mellow Mind. Yes, Mellow Mind. You see, those irrational doubts can take over the brain and turn you into a raving lunatic, or even worse, a Democrat. Just pop one mellow mind a day and sit back and watch Fox News. You'll be surprised how quickly it works. Wow, Doc, that's great. Everything's great. I have complete dog-like trust in the president. He knows what's good for us in America. Everything's peachy. <laughs> oh, sorry, Doc. Gotta go. Gotta go watch Fox News. We're invading Turkey at 6. Can't be late now. Hey, Doc. Thanks for Mellow Mind. Yes, that's Mellow Mind. The only choice for true Americans. Try them today. All your neighbors have. It's inevitable. I'm going to have a boy. I was on the bottom. I'm going to have a girl. I was on the top. Oh, shit. I guess that means I'm going to have a puppy. <laughs> because they'll scare the hell out of their dogs. I tell you, Bobby 
right, Joe, we've pulled some scams before, but this is going to be the mega topper of all of them. I'm telling you, all you got to do is do it like I taught you, and you can't fail. It's like, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Absolutely. All you got to do is look real sincere and mention God about six times every sentence, and the suckers open up their wallets every time. If we do this one last scam, we're tax-free to the Caymans! Tax-free! Hallelujah! Heaven, boy! Yeah. Hallelujah! <laughs> tax-free to the Amen. Caymans! Amen! Amen! Excuse me, Bobby Joe! Five minutes! Okay, you're on. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be golden, boy. Three, two, one, action! Thank you, brothers and sisters! Thank you, Billy Ray. Thank you for your generous donations. We can now build a biblical retreat in the Caymans. We can now bring the words of eternal love and redemption to the entire Caribbean. Yes, brothers and sisters, do you feel the need to reach out in the night for healing? Do you feel the need to lower your long distance bills? Well, now thanks to Turgid Communications, you can dial Jesus direct for only $59.95 a month. All you gotta do is press the glow in the dark cross button Welcome to the Prince of Peace Prayer Line, where personal salvation press 1. To smite the towel heads, press 2. To give all Democrats and secular humanists itching, burning, bleeding piles, press 3. For success in your business life and immediate painful death of all competitors, press 4. For world peace and universal brotherhood, press your thumbs through both eyes and pull out your brains. What do you think I am? Some kind of freaking hippie! Okay, so you want me to, to open four offshore accounts. You're on! Wow, wasn't that inspiring? And it's yours for only $59.95 a month. Call Turgid Communications today. You'll be so glad you did. Uh, Billy Ray, I think we gotta do another take. We picked up that bit where you and Bobby Joe were talking about, uh, suckers. Well, damn it, boy! We don't have time for another take! You do something! You jerk around with the editing and you fix it! <laughs> Me and Bobby Joe gotta look for some new yachts! Yeah! Water taxis! Water oh, taxis. yeah! Water taxis for the offshore missions! Yeah! <laughs> I, mean, I, wanna, I, I love those things! I... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, class. The last column on the periodic table Hey, Connie, check out Tommy. He's so stoned. I'll bet he can't even focus on the blackboard. Oh, man, that is like nothing. Every time Professor Elton turns his back, he stuffs a handful of food in his mouth. He was crunching so loudly, I couldn't hear the periodic table at all. We at BSN wish to avoid a major honking lawsuit. Therefore, we thought it prudent to affirm that the actor playing Tommy is eating a food that may or may not contain trans fat. He is putting himself at risk for our art. Be forewarned that any snacks consumed under the influence of pot, this includes cookies, tortilla chips, liquor, old rubber tires, or whatever, may or may not cause injury, obesity, or death. Oh yes, and coffee served in styrofoam cups is served very hot. We now return to the BSN program already in progress. The atomic symbol for gold, or AU, in Latin means that kid is a complete stoner. There's nothing going on upstairs. I'll bet he doesn't even know who Marie Curie is. That she doesn't even know what chemistry is. What, what, what could he be thinking? 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 I've nearly finished, Egor. Soon, my creation will be completed. Shall I open the door and check on it? No! The room must remain completely sealed from 10 a.m. until 7, 7.30 p.m. for Jewish people. Uh, th around that time, no sun must hit those things. And the moisture and the dew levels must remain at a constant air room temperature. Oh. The air flows must not be disturbed. Yes, how stupid of me. Yes, did you check the pH level? Oh, yes, master. It was a five and the HID was 24,000 lumens. Excellent, excellent. Soon everybody will know the name. 
Tommy Pattinstein. <laughs> well, it won't really matter because I'll be totally stoned. But regardless, everything's going to be wonderful. Did you feed it the birth control pills? <gasps> the yellow ones? Yellow ones? Yellow ones? Yes, they were little, yellow, and seemingly different. You gave them the new print. You idiot. Oh, God, I'm getting a headache. Oh, is it this big? Oh, I'm going to kill you. You're a moron. You're an idiot. You're an imbecile. You're an ass. Wow. Oh, boy, what an idiot. Yeah, he'll amount to nothing. Hydrogen is like... <laughs> you split the atom and it's like... because they keep falling through the holes in his hands. Brian Applebaum! Hey! How's it going, eh? Oh, cookie, Bobic. Hey, you know the Dunkin' Donuts next door is selling two for a Molson, eh? Without a doubt. We'll be seeing the governor, eh? Oh, you know it. <laughs> oh, two orders came in direct from the U.S. of A. A. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, that was a good one, eh? Hey, you know, seriously, word from Quebec is that the states, they're like uh, cracking down on us. Like, uh, they're gonna fight us, eh? They, they don't like us selling no more Canadian drugs. I didn't go to vet school for two years for nothing, man. That gives me a skull cramp. Oh, without a doubt. I, I knew we should have stayed with the, the leaves. leaves! Oh, oh, that's smart, eh? Mm. Oh, and with Renee, huh? What a puck, eh? <laughs> without a doubt. Yeah, living in sin, eh? Living in sin. Before I release the prisoner, I must return your valuable property in the presence of your attorney. Step forward to the white line, please. One set keys. One comb, plastic, black. One wallet, black. One Zippo cigarette lighter. One ticket to Tehran? One bottle of uranium-235? Guards! Guards! Put this man under arrest immediately! Hey, uh, Vinny, what you doing there? What the freak do you think I'm doing here? I'm trying to fix the chair! Hey, uh, Vinny, you know it's gonna take you forever to do it like this. Here, try this. Ouch! Hey, Paulie, why don't you get down here and help me find my freaking ear? Hey, Vinny. Is this it? No, that's not my ear. My ear had a pen behind it. Biopsy Playhouse thanks the Broad Hollow Theatre Company for the use of selected costumes seen on this episode. The Broad Hollow Theatre Company is a not-for-profit, subscription-based company 
committed to bringing high-quality plays, musicals, and children's productions to Long Island audiences at its three performance locations, including Bayway Arts Center in East Islip, Center Stage at Malloy College in Rockville Center, and Studio Theater in Lindenhurst. Visit their website, www.broadhollow.com, for more information on shows, educational repertory program, theater classes, touring shows, ticket prices, and costume and scenery rentals. Or simply give them a call at 631-581-2700 for more information or to reserve tickets.